Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn series, and let's kick it off. So where do we leave off? Well, it's been about five days since I played this last. So I'm just going to do a perimeter walk just to see what's going on. So this is that stone. And this is the coal. This, this is the wall construction. This is our kind of like our factory base thing set up. And that's our iron processing, which then goes up here, under here, and ends up over here creating steel. But that's it. And then we have ammo being made. Uh, what was that? Was that an autosave? I have no idea what that was. So, what's new with this today is there was an update. Today's February the 5th, I think. <laughs> I don't even know the date. And they updated with version 0 0.11.15. So in the past five days, there's been basically two versions. A 0.14 and then a 0.15, which is what I'm playing now. Let's see if we can find... Uh, back back okay looks like I'd have to actually save the game let's do that let's save the game right here okay let's go quick game let's go about and let's go change log I hope you all can see this otherwise it'll be a waste of time so basically in this version looks like we got some map transfer displays transfer speed <laughs> map transfer displays transfer speed okay the bug fixes. Fix one of the sources of the random crashes when loading games, mainly with mods containing heavy code and unloaded on init methods. Hmm. Tweaks the error we're reporting. Fix GUI gold description overlapping GUI elements. So I guess there's a, a forum post about that. So that's what's cool about this is if you want to help them with the game and you find something that's not working right or, or something that you feel should be changed, we can just go on their forums and post and hopefully it gets done. Fix that inserters weren't woken up when not inserting material. Ah, yes. This is what was happening quite often. And I think if we watch our videos, the videos back, you'll see that some of the inserters aren't working properly. And when I go to them and kind of you click on them and stuff, they, they start up. So, yeah. So, that's pretty cool there. Scripting. Disable the Lua player... Cursor precision and zoom as they were not deterministic. Interesting. I wonder where they saw that. Changes. When using the deconstruction plan, the logistic network is not drawn if the mouse is over a GUI element. Blueprint deconstruction and cancel deconstruction selection boxes will not get unselected when hovering over GUI elements. And there's no slider bar, so I don't know what's past this. Yeah, and then point 14 looks like bug fixes and scripting. Let's quickly take a look here. Stack traces. I usually read these because I just want to know what the problem is. So maybe we don't really need to read what's fixed. If you want to read it, just look up on your own Factorio. And if you don't have that, on the, fo on the website, uh, the Factorio website, you'll be able to see all this stuff. Yeah, cool. Looks like they fixed a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. So let's get back to our game, load game, and there is a campaign, but I I did decide to do that one. I wanted to just do free play, just play with you all, and just to have a good time, well, you know, learn the game, you know, try and understand how this automation stuff works. I was talking with uh, somebody, <laughs> I think it was Lushable. And he was thinking that this game is complex, and I think I understand what that means. It can be, but that's part of the reason why I like to play this game, because of the complexity. So, yeah, so we got the better armor. Yeah, that's right, we were having issues with those. Let's see, let's go map here, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so I was having issues with this colony here. Because you have those big guys that shoot. But see, after I cleared out all of these, there doesn't seem to be really anyone attacking anymore, which is nice. 
I clear out the ones in the media area here. At least there's more coal deposits here, so maybe I can set up a train system to bring it back into here. I don't know. I'll, we're gonna have to kind of mess with that stuff. You know, mess with our arrangement. You maybe tear it all up and reorganize it. I was. I've been thinking about that lately. Oops, wrong button. Okay. So this is copper, and that's just doing its thing, making circuits, which I got extras in here. Making inserters. These. Okay. I think what I'm waiting for is my research, maybe to finish. Because if you notice in here, I can't really build anything more. Because I've been doing heavy research into my technologies. Let's see here. This box should never really get destroyed, so it should be okay. Is it shift left click? Yes, yeah, shift left click moves it quicker. Okay. Uh, lights turning on, beautiful. I like lights. Okay. Well, while we wait for this to increase, let's see. Turret. Oh, that's how you see these. Move your mouse over it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so it's slowly working up. Okay. I just wanted to see how quick this was and it's not that fast so it looks like I'll need to research this lab efficiency after because this is just not acceptable maybe it has something to do with not enough green packs are these being made yeah it looks like they're still being made and so it's just waiting for this to make it to put on the conveyor okay okay well that's fine so while that progresses, maybe let's go check out those guys. Uh, how many turrets do I got? We need to build some more turrets. So I can just use the crafting for this. One, two, three, four, five. Why am I... Copper plates, iron. So that makes it seven. That's one, two. Maybe we'll grab some more ammo. 100, 200, and then I think we got grenades, and we got these defender capsules, so let's save the game here in case something horribly bad goes. Uh, let's see here, let's check out our iron, and then, we'll and then we'll try and take out that colony, you preemptively strike it. I know there was that big guy that hit me and did a lot of damage, so... I don't know, man. Let's run down here. Let's check this out. Look at all this stuff. That's amazing. Go this way. I guess I could have had the power poles line up with all this stuff. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of gap. Yeah, and the one side here won't produce because it's full, but that's okay. For 3.6, for okay, so it's about yeah, so that's okay. If if this side works a little bit more, that's all right. And these I think still have 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah, that must be auto save, which is cool because you know it's gonna keep me. It's gonna keep me being mindful of, of the the time. So yeah, I see this big worm here. And we don't like the big worm. Okay, well we need to start placing these I think. Okay. Okay, and then just basically hopscotch it. Oh crap. Ah, okay. Didn't realize. Guess that's attacking range. Okay. I think that's the yeah the, the turret being damaged. Okay, so which means I can repair this guy. Very little damage. And basically we shoot 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 shoot. We basically advance up. 
slowly and ever so much so that way we can forget about the research and inch up and try and kill this stuff here now we need to oh oh okay no that's not gonna happen oh Whoa, see the grenades, the range, so tiny for them. Oh yeah, unless I can shoot them. Hmm. Oh, oh, get away. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Hmm. Okay, so we can't take these guys out really. That's too bad. Just that range, that hit, like it takes me down three, four hits. So that's almost impossible. Yeah, so how, how are we going to deal with that? Okay, and again, I, I forgot my those radar units. Well, you know what? Let's just build one. To heck with that. We'll build a radar unit. And with this radar unit, we'll just place it right back here. So that way the aliens have to go around. Where are you? There we go. Have to go around to do that. Basically, I want to expand more out this way so we can see. And I do want to put one up here as well. Oops. So... Let's go do that. Let's go grab that. And let's... Uh, you have the gun turret stuff complete. So yeah, so definitely that lab efficiency will be next. Because we're going to... You want to speed up the research here. I guess I should run on the belt so it's faster. And I do want to get those trains and stuff and all of the other neat things like that on the go. Ah, oh, there's trees here. Uh, I like to keep the trees because I heard that the trees kind of soak in the pollution. Well, in a flat space with no trees. So here, because there's trees, it's not going too far out. Here, it's going further out because it's flat. That's why all this is kind of happening because it's flat, so it spreads out. Right? Uh, same up here. It's kind of there's trees all around here, so there's, it's not as much as when it comes out here, then it just spreads out. I've kind of been noticing that, uh, so that's kind of cool. Well, this is a mess actually. The more I look at that, the more I come to here, it's just a big mess. But I, I started here because of these two deposits, and that was my first iron deposit. So once these get used up. I guess we could stop it right here and let them get used up, but I figure this is like last resort at the end of the chain type of thing. And in here, I'm just going to put some more items here. So we got two of these guys. So let's grab one. And can I put these with those? Okay. I don't know why I got the iron stick, but I'm going to keep that because I think we need that. We got a couple grenades here, so that's fine and dandy. And what else? What else? This one we can use for poles. That's why I have it in the box here. Oh yeah, these we don't need. And then these stone furnaces, unless we need it for these steel ones. Let's take a look at that. Where are we? Steel furnace. So it looks like no. So they don't. They have nothing to do with that. Let's see here. I'll put this in the box so it's stored. And let's go up this way. I got the radar unit, so let's place the radar unit. I want to do the oil because there are, are oil deposits. One here, one here. I think up here somewhere. You can kind of see them on the screen. They're these, these pink dots here. So there's some oil up here. 
So there is oil everywhere. 19, 19, these don't have very much. Ah, I'll worry about when they start being used. Otherwise, there's no point. S some of these have old ammo, and that's fine. Uh, let's see here. So let's run up this way and check out what this looks like and place some more. Do I have any walls? I don't see any walls. I guess I didn't take those. Should be more organized, but oh well. <laughs> Otherwise it wouldn't be interesting, would it? This is why it's called the Let's Learn series. Come on. Okay, here we go. See, and here I can create another bank of these. Maybe that's what we can do. Tie in another bank as well. Why not? So I got six here. So what would be the best way of tying this in? And we have underneath the belt too that needs to be mined. So that will have to go there, which means this will have to go like here as well. But kind of underneath, no, wait. like that. Maybe we can do it like that. Okay. Okay, maybe like that. And this is going to be tiny, tiny. So let's do it anyways. Uh, that distance thing kind of, I should do it closer then. So let's do one, two, I need more iron. One, two, so I need three at least. Okay. There we go. So if we put one. No, we don't need three. Okay. This. Maybe just like that to make it look nice. One and two. Okay. There we go. So this is all covered. Of course, we have some that. Well, I wouldn't say overlapping, but they're pretty close, and there's a reason for all this. Okay, so I think I can do... Maybe I want to do it like this, like that. And then do the same thing like this, like that, and the bottom. There you go. Perfect. This is all hooked in. Now let's put the belts here. So, I want to hook it in. So, which means that we'll probably. Uh, okay, so we're going to do lab efficiency 2 because. See, yeah, 30%, so it'd be way faster. So, we'll do that. We'll start that up and get that going. Because it's all automated, we don't have to worry about it. So how do we tie these in together? Because I want to use a splitter, right? But if I have one here, how do I connect into that one? Unless we do this. So let's do that and that. Okay, yeah, there might be some extra belts here, but whatever. Take this out, put that one there. That I'll save is actually getting really annoying now. Options. Other. Auto save, where are ya? Never, there we go. I'd rather control the save than it doing it for me, because these auto saves just get annoying. Okay. Let's get back to what we're doing here. I think we've, I think I got about ten minutes left, so so maybe we'll just put this stuff like this, and just yeah, just like that. Simple as that. Doesn't matter if it's on the one side, or does it matter? 
So maybe we'll do that, and then we'll do that. So the reason I pull this out is so when this belt goes up, it stays... Um, what do I want to say? It stays straight, so that way it goes on to the closer side, while these guys will do the one side. So both sides are kind of... I kind of run evenly, but not, if that makes sense. And then here we'll do just the same thing. We'll just tie it into the system like this, like this, like that. Pick that up. Put another splitter down here, right here. And then maybe we can just do that. Do that. Yeah, that's right. Just like that. There we go. Uh, this won't be really even, but it will split into here and go down through the middle. So that will hook in properly. And then this guy is going to hook in into this. So I think what we're going to do is bring it around this way. I might have to pick that up. Crap. Okay. Swing it around this way, and then hook it in this way, and then this guy, just like that. So that way both sides are evenly, or are like our are, are evenly worked, and then it all gets hooked in. Kind of a little bit complicated here now, but that's all right. Looks like we got defenses set up. So really now, probably best thing would be to build walls around this, all the way around down to here round and back up so that way these don't get attacked so with that in mind let's place some turrets here one two three this is probably unnecessary but you know what why not because I don't like being caught with my pants down so to speak <laughs> and if it wouldn't surprise me if I didn't have these turrets here that I would be attacked and I would lose all this stuff. And so to not risk that, I think putting in defenses is A-OK. -okay. And so now from here, since it's the middle of here, I want to scan again. So let's grab another scanner. Now this will make my energy go right up through the roof, but same note. I don't think that matters too much, so it's, if we take a look at our network, left click. So yeah, we still got good production that's not being maxed out. They're using... Yeah, wow. Or is consumption... Oh, I think consumption is beyond what they can power, so that means we're going to have brownouts. So let's build another steam engine. Maybe another two steam engines here. Now steam engines create pollution, which will extend that this red boundary out. But same note, these are far away. It's just this guy to worry about. Look all that oil there. Ooh. So well, there's oil right here. Good, good. So technologically, we'll be able to take those out eventually. I just know from that big guy the armor it just it just hurts. It really hurts. Let's check this out here. So now we're back at our base. Now what did I want to do? I forgot. Oh yes, I have some iron here I can deposit into these furnaces. So that way it can be used. Oh, and look at this. This copper, I think, is now complete. So we can t pick this up. This power line, we need that for that. The lights, might as well keep the light there. Now we can kind of rip this up. Um, I think we got have about five minutes, maybe, around there, give or take. So let's pick this up. Cool. So there we go. So I used up that copper there. That's pretty cool. 
So what I'm doing here is I'm just holding right click and moving along. Ooh, still gotta be a bit careful. And up here we're gonna have to probably not take this all out. Because right here, we still got copper and it still has to be loaded in. And then the, this, well, <laughs> see just here alone we got enough. I think this whole deposit is going to last us to the end of the game. I have a feeling on that. Now this guy here that we have going, 342. So this one will be almost done soon. Then we'll be able to rip up all of these all the way down to here. Which then it ties into the main system here, which most likely, which then di distributes throughout to fuel things. And let's add our station, our steam engines here. One, I built this to be modular like this. Oh, why is there a pipe right there? Huh. That's strange. So can I do like this? Okay, why did I do that? Or, oh I see, I, I remember why I think. I think I wanted to be able to click, to move my mouse over it, to monitor the heat. So if I have to add in more of those things up top, the, oh I wish I knew the names of stuff. I'm just so silly that way. Let's, let's put this in, okay. There we go. Now I think we're doing okay. Let's let's left click. See, it doesn't really. I added more, but temperature is a hundred. Okay. Oh, the water looks like it's doing good. Temperature at a hundred. Nine point nine. 9.6 so you think it's the pump I think you have to add in another pump and then tie the water in that would suck mm. which means that we might have to relocate everything anyways so let's just see what happens here and I know things will start shutting down because just the backlog of iron that goes all the way so there's probably like hundreds in here yeah I'm just thinking out loud just thinking about what I'm gonna do because I increased the turret stuff I've been doing a lot of these combative ones and that's not helping because it kinda of makes everything stagnant and now we're starting to get into the blue science packs so what do we need for the blue science packs? And I don't even have that. Why not? Is that why? Oh, maybe that's what this is. Okay, yeah. Never mind. So this lab efficiency will give us the blue, I think the blue guys, maybe. We still got these things to research, which will be pretty quick. Yeah, we're starting, okay. So we're starting to get into the blue stuff. Okay. No worries. That's exciting. We're moving up. Oh, look at this. The shotgun shell shooting speed. That's only red. We're going to have to do that. So, yeah. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, like all the other episodes that we have. And, yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.